Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna go through another narrative and see whether it holds any weight or not. So, they say you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you just have to use it. Um, we have all heard this, that in judo there is group fighting, the choice of takedowns is high amplitude, and because the focus is on the throw to get you the win, the ippon throw, but in BJJ, because the rules are different, they adopt the wrestling stand-up, meaning the wrestling stance, the choice of takedowns, all of it. So as a stand-up, you're kind of like a wrestler, but when you go to the ground, it's it becomes, you know, the classical newaza of judo, of course, with some development over time, but... In my opinion, after reviewing a lot of historical footage of those who dedicated their careers for Neiwaza and for ground grappling, I see that this is not true. This approach has already been done. So we're going to take a look at the great Oda Tsunetane and his choice of takedowns while demonstrating his judo or kosen judo. So the first one is here. He just feints at, for gripping and shoots in for a double leg notice how he picks up and goes to the side so he lands in a good position particularly yoko shihogatami or side control so here he goes he picks up or does like a moro tegari reaps away and lands uh in an ideal position he reaps to the side so he doesn't have to pass guard uh, the next one is your knee pick Again, uh, takes away to the side so he can land in an ideal position in reaps from the inside, not from the outside, because if you reap from the outside, you can land easily in their guard. So also in judo, you have to take uh, into consideration the pin. It's also uh, valid. Uh, the next thing is when pulling guard, again, this is just your classical BJJ stand up and immediately goes for the sweep because in judo, the pin is pretty much there and the danger of the pin is always present. So when I say uh, in self-defense, uh, if you find yourself in a guard position, sweep immediately like Oda because it's important for your safety and also to get you in a better position. Now, let's see one of his last remaining students, Okada Sensei, goes for an ankle pick, yet another classical, quote, BJJ takedown. So you have the double leg, the knee pick, and the ankle pick. Uh, I think this can also be considered a low single, if I'm not mistaken, in the wrestling terminology. But nonetheless, you can see here, um, he's teaching the important elements of Oda is judo in the Oda method, uh, Okada Sensei, I'm saying. So here you can see, you can also uh, reap the ankle or pick the ankle from the inside so you can get them uh, in a better position for you to immediately get into side control if you want to engage into the ground uh, immediately. So as you can see here, one of the greatest to have ever contributed to Neiwaza and ground grappling, Oda Tsunetane, his choice of takedown is rather interesting. Now, the question is uh, why it is th that choice of takedowns or those takedowns in particular. Well, again, it's the we go back to the old uh, idea of different rules create different mindsets so uh, he was uh, a coach of the um, high school teams where they would compete uh, in kosen judo where you know the ground is heavily favored uh, hikikomi or guard pulling was um, loud and it was uh, done frequently so uh, you would see that uh, engaging in a lot of stand-up um, grip fighting or kumikata uh, is not really ideal if your goal is to go to the ground and really just uh, tap someone or pin them uh, with a osai komi pin so uh, the thing is with the double legs like i said you don't have to engage in the upper body you can easily get into a good position and also the nuances of these takedowns like the ankle pick the knee pick um the double leg morotegari or skuinage the nuances are easier to learn that of uchimata ochigari these great high amplitude throws that are very devastating but yet uh, on the mats they can land you easily in someone's uh, guard so to say that uh, because holes learned wrestling in bjj they do the stand up like in wrestling no this idea has already been tried and tested and it was done by Oda Tsunetane. Like I said, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have 
uh, to use it. So this idea that um, BJJ uses wrestling stand up uh, to get to the ground because it's smarter to get to the ground than to use, you know, the judo of today is just, in my opinion, it's not true. Um, these old judokas have already come to this conclusion that if I want to get to the ground faster and in a good position, I either A, have to pull guard and immediately sweep after that to pin because Osai Komi is big in judo or the pin is big in judo or B, uh, save myself the work uh, of um, kumite. By the way, in Japan, they call kumikata, the group fighting kumite. Uh, save myself the work of kumite and group fighting and just hunch over, go to the legs and pick them and get myself in a very good position and also it takes a lot less effort to understand them because of the lack of details of the Morotegari compared to something like Uchimata or Seoenage and also you don't ha you don't have to jeopardize your position after performing these throws because when you want to do a good Uchimata if you see them a lot in competition sometimes they roll to get the most back exposure so they quote land in the other guy's side control while in reality if you hit it on concrete or anywhere else it would be incredibly devastating but since we're on the mats and there is rules and there is a point system and a way to win uh, it's not favorable to do judo throws when the ground is your goal so uh, obviously this choice of takedowns is the logical thing that they you know ran into or they concluded even back in the Oda days before the wrestling uh, before wrestling became so trendy in the Western world with BJJ now to say that there is no wrestling at all in today's BJJ that's not true um, you can see the single leg with the uh, running the pipe uh, you can also see um, and the no there's also the no gi you can see them do a lot of uh, wrestling pummels and a lot of elements but i'm talking about classical gi bjj or jujitsu and the stand-up approach the whole concept of the stand-up approach with the choice of takedowns uh, how to attack and how to get yourself to the ground the fastest and safest way i'd say it was already been approached by oda sensei okada sensei and all these uh, great ground masters like uh, karimitsu sensei etc so um, the stand-up approach of course in judo has been different since before i would say the bjj thing became uh you know this popular so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also i will link uh okada sensei's video that i already went through uh, of oda's teachings in terms of guard passing how it's similar to you know today's invisible jujitsu the takedowns etc i will link it at the end and also i'll pin it as a um comment so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening